Another club, another huge club who has had an unbelievable summer so far, bringing in some fantastic signings, the likes of Gonzalo Montiel, Eric Lamella, Ludwig, Augustinsson, Demitrovic, and now bringing in another great signing and another amazing signing, really, a Spaniard, a promising young forward. They're bringing in Rafa Mir. That is right, Sevilla has made another massive pickup, the Wolves forward, the Spanish forward, Rafa Mir. He will be joining them for a fee of 16 million euros. That's got guys will jump in the details. Rafa Mir is joining from Wolves to Sevilla for 16 million euros, but the length of the contract is six years. This is extremely, extremely long. We've seen in the Premier League examples of this, likes of Harry Kane signing a six-year deal, regretting it after that. Likes, and you don't see six-year deals too often. That's why I find this one very interesting. You also went out and saw likes of Joe Willock sign a six-year deal. He might come to regret it. But Rafa Mir is going back home to Spain, and he will be signing a six-year deal with Sevilla, a club who that is really, really looking promising, massively promising, and I'm liking the looks of Sevilla. But the young, talented Spanish forward will be joining Sevilla for 16 million euros. And if you're wondering how Rafa Mir plays, he is a great forward. Last year, he played 38 appearances in the La Liga for Huesca. Rafa Mir joined, or Rafa Mir joined uh, Wolves back in 2017-2018. And he partaked in the championship. And then he was sent out on loan after loan after loan. Like to Las Palmas, uh, Nottingham Forest, Huesca, and Huesca for two seasons in a row. Last year, he was unbelievable for Huesca. He was fantastic. He has been a great goal scorer while he's been on loan for Wolves and away for Wolves. Like so Huesca last year, putting in 13 goals and one assist. And the season before that, he had nine goals and one assist. You can't argue that kind of return. At the age of 22 and 23, last year, last two years, he's been unbelievable. He is 24 now. And for me, I think he has such a good, such a high ceiling. If you want to know what kind of a play style he has, he, like I said, he's 24 years old, such a high ceiling. He is six foot two. So for my Premier League fans or my Premier League supporters out there who hasn't seen Rafa Murr or wants to know who he could be compared to or what he's like, he is compared to a Dominic Calvert-Lewin. You could really compare him to Dominic Calvert-Lewin or Chris Wood, one of those types of players. So if from that comparison, you can really figure out how he plays. He is a guy that likes to take some long shots. He's very good at hitting them from range. He is unbelievable at the in the air. He's very deadly from free kicks and set pieces, corners. He'll win you the ball in your own box and in the opponent's box. He will score you goals and create lots of chances. He can hold up the ball, play it into his feet, play it into his chest. He'll lay it off to you. He's good at those nice tidy one twos. He gets a tremendous amount of shots off. He gets around four to three shots per game off. That is comparing him to any other forward in the world. Aerial duels, he is up there with the best. He is unbelievable at, at that as well. For a guy who's 6'2", sometimes you might not be the best in the air, but Rafa Mur is one of those uh, strikers who is just talented in the air. Like I said, he's great at holding up the ball. He's great at holding it with his feet, but he is also great at flicking it on and flicking it with his head, and he is one of those brilliant forwards that you can rely on to hold up the ball, control it, and slow down play, and let your team build up the pitch and get up the pitch a bit faster. And just let the team rebuild and reset up and gives you time to change the play style. And if you're looking how he will more than likely fit into a Sevilla side, Sevilla will play a back three. They have done that already in La Liga against Rayo Vallecano, having a 3-0 win. But this is very interesting. Rafa Mir is joining a very good striking class. Like some Munir up top, uh, Luke Giong and Nasir. And you have Papu Gomez who can play up top if need be, but he is more so your center forward or your attacking midfielder. So he is Rafa Mir is going to have to work into a side that has the likes of En Nasir, who's been a very good La Liga striker over the years. Munir, for me, who is very young and could, more than likely is a bench striker and a guy you're going to bring off the bench. And Luke De Jong, same thing. I think he'll be battling it out with En Nasir. I think this can be a great contest. For me, I highly rate Rafa Mir. I think he has a great future, a great uh, ceiling above him, and I hope he can break into the Spanish national team. He was playing for the U23s in the Euros these past summer, this past uh, season, and he just has so much talent, and I'm glad he finally got that permanent transfer and he got to go back home. Wolves finally get him out the door and stop sending him out alone. They get 16 million euros for him. Good for Wolves. 
Wolves are missing up on a talent, I really do think here. But it'll be great to see him in Sevilla playing consistently for a manager that he knows will be back. And he's playing for a fantastic manager in Julian Lopetegui, one of the best in the world. But guys, I'll sum it up here. Rafa Mir is joining Sevilla from Wolverhampton Wanderers for a transfer of 16 million euros and a length of a contract of six years. But guys, let me know what you guys think down below of Rafa Mir and what his potential is for you guys. And do you think he will be starting for Sevilla? And if not, why? And where do you guys think he will be in the coming years? Let me know how you guys think the Sevilla side will do. But guys, if you enjoy the transfer content, the transfer rumors, game predictions, all the news, everything like that, it'll be all here on the channel. So if you haven't already, hit that sub button, hit the like button, and drop a comment down below. And guys, I'll see you for the next one because there's so many more videos coming out today. But guys, I'll see you for the next one. Peace.